You love the mechanics for monsters and other childish things, but you don't want to play My Pet Monster the RPG. So instead of kids with pet monsters, you play lunatics with manifest psychoses. You love the rules and style of play for Mouse Guard, but you don't want to play Mice with Swords. So instead, you adapt the rules to play Rangers of the North and Middle Earth. If you don't like it, hack it. It could be argued that the idea of hacking a game system first emerged with D&D. It used to be the case that if you didn't have a thick binder full of a ton of house rules, including altered magic systems, rules additions and exceptions, you were probably new to DMing. Almost everyone hacked the hell out of D&D, almost as a pastime, and hacking generally has become very prevalent since then, and more awesome. Nowadays, hacks are an industry. They're expansive, supported, and official. They're even commercially viable. I'm thinking, of course, about Dungeon World and, yep, even Pathfinder. As I see it, most hacks aim primarily to do two things. Translate source material or alter it significantly. A translation is basically a setting or genre transition. To make a simple analogy, you want a sandwich, but you want it with rye instead of whole wheat. For example, you might love the rules and overall concept behind Siren, but you want to see it as a Firefly game. These kinds of shifts don't require too many rules. I'd argue that they're more like reimaginings. The other kind of hack, the hack that alters the source material significantly, is different. It's a boiling the meat from the bones, so to speak, and reconstructing a body from the bare skeleton. You keep the fundamentals intact, but alter just about any, everything else. Often this means keeping the conflict resolution mechanics in place, but changing the way the rest of the rules interact with those mechanics. Actually. If you're at all interested in game design, but don't want to create a system from scratch, writing hack is actually a great way to cut your teeth. You just have to be aware of how you're affecting the guts of the source system. Don't hack something just for the sake of hacking, though. The changes you make should be based on your desired play experience. That's just something to have in mind. But this begs the question, at what point do you stop hacking and simply play a system more naturally akin to the one you want to play? This isn't about one system or game being better than any other. This is about a game or system being better suited to the purpose you want when you're trying to create the right field. Frankly, it's even about being practical. After all, why hack 80% of game A when game B does exactly what you want? If you find the rules you like for the setting you enjoy, make it happen. If you don't, hack it.